Silver has played an integral role in the history of the United States of America from being utilized as money for transactions for much of our history. Silver has played a vital role in our monetary history, but it also has played an integral role in industry and technology as the Industrial Revolution has expanded and certainly that has transcended to not only developments uh, to help make our lives better from day to day, but it is also that same technology can be transferred to and from uh, the uh, military applications as well. You know, many of you may remember I posted a video a while ago about uh, theorizing how much silver uh, could be utilized in a Tomahawk cruise missile. Some feel it's about 500 ounces, but none of Nonetheless, silver is utilized in a lot in, in, in the Department of Defense, the military industrial complex that Eisenhower warned us of. But nonetheless, silver plays a vital role as well as in the Manhattan Project. And, you know, some of those are very controversial topics. In fact, the whole idea of the military and spending for the military is a controversial topic. Uh, but silver plays a vital role. And, uh, but nonetheless, this video is about how silver's role is there for the fight of freedom. And we may not agree on military intervention in some of our wars, but make no mistake, there are some wars that were fought that definitely uh, were directly as a result uh, in order to preserve freedom uh, around the world and in the United States. Uh, probably the most blatant example would be World War II. I mean, even though that's still controversial as to whether we should have been involved or not there. But I mean, regardless, I think had we not, the world would be a much different place today. But silver's use in um, uh, weapons and in technology, military technology, surveillance and the like, is second to none. It is the most diverse metal for those applications. Some f feel that we're going to start to see more and more uh, use of silver for the Department of Defense and military applications in the coming years. And that's where some of the silver's demand will come from. But when you think about it, what does it really boil down to? Um, well, you can have as much silver as you want for any application you want, but unless you have humans utilize that silver in weapon systems and defense systems, and well, it's all for naught. And it's the humans behind it that really makes the difference. Um, and going back to the early days when silver was not used at all in, in, uh, in the defense of this nation, on this uh, two and a half ounce silver medal here, we can see the modern soldier as opposed to the, to the uh, Continental Army soldier. Before we were established as a nation, the United States Army was formed. One year before the independence, the Continental Army uh, was formed in 1775. And without uh, the brave sacrifice of those who lost their lives in order to create a nation, a literal nation, we not we would not be around today to enjoy all the different uh, items and industries and technology that silver has played a vital role. And so it is their sacrifice that we honor today on this Memorial Day. Silver being utilized even in the Navy with some of the technology in the ships and that we see so often, but the Navy has a long, steep history as well too. United States Navy, uh, going back from the old ships that were used back in the day when they, uh, you know, under the Navy and the Barbary pirates from which the Navy was sprouted the Marines and uh, hence the phrase Semper Fidelis and the, and the theme and the song the United States Marine Corps song from the shores of Tripoli. And nonetheless, the modern technology, the M4 rifle, and what's involved in it. Now, I don't know if there's much silver involved in the M4 rifle, but perhaps in some of the optics, there very well could be some silver involved in that. But nonetheless, these are uh, the sacrifices that, that our uh, modern heroes have made for us. And ultimately, they lose their lives. And when a soldier loses their life, we should always remember uh, every single day, not just today, about the sacrifice that they made 
And that sacrifice does not end with the loss of the life of the soldier who fought um, in order to preserve freedom. It is, extends to the families that are left in the wake of the death of the loved one. And those soldiers, families, uh, bear that cost every single day with their loved one gone. That loved one who may have brothers, sisters, parents, more importantly, children and a wife at home or a husband at home. That is uh, the wake and those people should be thanked for sacrificing their loved one in defense of this country. And so that is the motto here. We've got uh, Semper Fidelis uh, for the Marines. God bless those who have served, honor her courage and commitment. And then you have the United States Air Force formed in 1947. And we can see the technology involved in the jets seen here uh, beyond the, the cockpit window of this fighter pilot. And I wonder how much silver is involved in a YF-35 or an F-22. Um, we certainly know that there was a lot of technology used. That technology was used to, to shoot down a spy balloon <laughs> recently that was somewhat seen as a joke. No one died in that incident, thank God. But nonetheless, um, you know, our brave pilots um, have served. And certainly through the course of history in Vietnam, uh, there was loss of life. And we thank them and their families for their service and their sacrifice. That's what today is all about. And you know, with these five branches of the military, including the Coast Guard, which keeps our coast safe, um, you have Semper Perutus, uh, the US Coast Guard motto there, as the ship cuts through the water. And uh, how much silver is used to keep this ship alive in, in the waters today. Uh, there's a lot of respect, honor, and um, you know, you have devotion to duty uh, that makes itself known and what the Coast Guard is all about to protect us. And so when you have all of these branches together, these five branches, there's only one branch left, the newest branch of the military, of which there has not been any deaths reported in service to their country, and that is the Space Force. It is a young agency and has yet to prove itself in battle, and hopefully, it will never lead to a death in that branch. But these five branches in these uh, U.S. Mint 2.5 ounce medals uh, represent uh, the uh, the sacrifice and of those who not only have served and maybe have been um, wounded and disabled because of their service, but here today we remember those who lost their lives in memoriam. And so what is it about? You know, you have the circle of five 2.5 ounce silver medals and it's about the ideas of what America is about, and represented in this silver round here, which I think is probably one of the most beautiful designed silver rounds that I could think that kind of embody the idea of what the United States is all about. More so, I think, in this modern representation of liberty, bearing a flag, uh, standing tall there with a sword in her hand to defend freedom, and uh, with a shield there, in God we trust, and boy, we're missing out on that much more today than ever before. With the motto, e pluribus unum, out of many, one. You know, this is about freedom and unity. We can be united under the principles that have guided this nation for well over 240 years. Um, this is uh, the ideals of, that should not be controversial in any way, shape, or form. But sadly, it seems like today, they are. You know, we want equality not equity. We want, uh, we want uh, to be able to have the ability to represent and respect each other as equals in these, in these United States for the freedom that if we can come together and bind together as one, such as the fascia on this, on this, uh, on the obverse here, or the reverse, and we have the snake to guard it, you know, and it's about guarding that unity. We are stronger together. Yes, indeed, but we are stronger together because we recognize our individuality and we recognize our, our rights and our freedoms here in this country. And when we have the government that recognizes that and codifies it into law, which is essentially the constitution, that my friends is liberty. And liberty would be nothing without freedom. And so when we have silver that represents freedom and we recognize and honor those who made that ultimate sacrifice for us, that gives us a sense of appreciation for this country and the ideals from which it was founded. And it needs to be preserved. It is worth fighting for. 
and we should fight in order to keep uh, our country free. And why? Because there's others that have done it uh, and, and they've lost their lives in doing it on the battlefield. So I think we should do it by using the telephone or email, contact our congressmen or congresspeople and, let, and remind them that there are people who died for this country, some over a hundred years ago, some maybe even a couple of days ago. You know, it matters not. Uh, but the thing is, is, you know, those freedoms should not have been done in vain. Uh, the, the deaths should not be in vain. We need to preserve this country. It is uh, and the foundations from which it was founded. So there you have it. So thank you again to all of the families who have had loved ones that have uh, died in service of this nation. We honor you today in memoriam of your loved ones. And thank you for your sacrifice. And, and if you have served in the military as a veteran yourself, we thank you for your service because you've sacrificed as well. More on that when Veterans Day comes, but nonetheless, we honor and appreciate you. So there you have it. I hope you found this video informative, inspirational, and educational. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.